Or is that the polyps? No, I, yeah, I'm totally impacted. I have been for eight months. I was okay. on uh, injectable steroids four times well, a year. Don't, don't, be, don't be breaking my heart here. That's, that's all. Yeah, that's, but, yeah. Uh, it, Here's what it, we need to do. That's what, that's what, it, that's what uh, encouraged me because I know that the steroids really are stimulating my body and that my body is the one that's really shrinking, but my steroids totally No, 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 listen. R- you listen, check this out. This is very fascinating, okay? Yeah. The steroid, and you sound like a smart guy, so I want you to work through this with me, okay, Stuart? Okay. This, what is the mechanism of steroids? What do they do? They shut down the, infl- the immune system. They shut down the right. inflammatory system. They're anti-inflammatory. They're immune suppressant. With me? Okay, so if they give you a drug that is an immune suppressant that is supposedly going to treat your problem, what is that telling you about your problem? It's oh, an yeah, immune I, problem. I, I get this, but I just mean that my body can't... No, no, it. hang on, Stuart. I'm going to, work, I want to, get, I'm going to give you an answer okay. here, okay? Okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah. I want you to work with me, though, okay, sequentially. Number one, okay. step number one, they're giving you an anti-immunity drug or an anti-inflammatory drug. Step right. number two, what does that tell you? Step number three, it tells you that you've got an immune problem. Okay? Now, the immune system is your defense system. So synonymously, if you have an immune problem and you have a defensive problem, you got an offending agent. What is the offending agent is your job. And by the way, as unpleasant as your stuffiness is, I'm sure it is, especially at night, and as unpleasant as the polyps are, you got bigger fish to fry. you got bigger problems. I have a full-blown autoimmune disease. I I was going to say, there's no way it's just showing up in your nose. What is it? Celiac? I'm a, yeah, I'm a classic celiac. All right, Stuart, but my friend, you're going to live a short life if you don't get to the bottom of this. And you're right. not going to, it's not going to be pretty on the way down. Yeah, How old are you? I've uh, paid free, uh, just taken my 90. So, That's awesome. Uh, How old are you, Stuart? Yeah. Uh, 54. Okay, we get, you got another 40, 50 years going if we can get this thing down, okay? Yeah, 120 so, which, is what Dr. Wallach says. All right, you got plenty of time. You're a baby, but you're accelerating the pace. So yeah. you absolutely have to get to the bottom of what's getting into the blood. Something yeah. is getting into the blood through the digestive system. You must get to the bottom of that. In the meantime, until you figure that out, pound the probiotics. Get on the bioluminite essence if you're not already, and if, double it if you are. Eat fermented food like it's going out of style. Make your own fermented food. Yeah, we get have your, good, uh, good uh, uh, brewery industry it's Yeast. Denver here that's producing, that's produced, though, the, like uh, producing probiotic. Uh, fresh, Where are you? Uh, are you in Denver? Yeah. Okay. Have we met? Uh, yeah. Okay, cool. So here's the deal, Stuart. You absolutely have to get to the bottom of the digestive issues. Until you do that, get on the probiotics as much as you can, fermented foods. Go to the health food store and buy some bacterial starter pack and pack and start experimenting with fermented food. Uh, uh, use the Jordan Rubin Amasai and, and Swear V and fermented chi- uh, pr- the, the uh, probiotic enriched cheese, etc. cetera. Uh, apple cider vinegar after all your meals. Uh, coconut well, oil, I, anything you could do for the digestive system is key. Yeah, and then, at, and let me just finish, Stuart, I'm gonna because I'm going to have a bunch of calls here. Through the digestive lining, all of your healing nutrients are absorbed, especially zinc and especially vitamin C and especially selenium. So if your intestinal lining is breaking down, you're not going to be absorbing those nutrients. 50 milligrams yeah. a day of zinc picolinate are a must-have. And by the way, if Rick is still listening, same, same with you. Any skin problems, zinc is a must. It's a must for everybody, but especially if you have a, a skin issue uh and polyps by the way are a skin issue yeah Uh, it shows very much in my skin so it's a skin issue okay skin is not the cells aren't it's the same thing that rick has except the reverse his his isn't growing fast enough yours is growing too fast but it's the same problem Okay, and then uh, zinc and vitamin A go together. Make sure you're using 20,000 IU of vitamin A. Healthy start pack must have. I'd be throwing in the selenium, the ultimate selenium, and then the ultimate enzymes after meals and the Fucoid Z, three capsules, three times a day. Ton more stuff, but that's a great place for you to start. And and God bless you, man. Good luck with everything. And please, I encourage you to start right away. I'm thinking about going on a ketogenic diet or with a keto? Fast. Fast for a couple days and then start the ketogenic diet. Absolutely. But yeah. fast for a couple days. You need a you need a good fast, Stuart. I can hear it. Yeah. Okay, man. I'll let you go. All right. Thanks, Good to talk. Good to talk to you. Jim in California, what's going on? Welcome to the Bright Side. Hi, Ben. I'm a 76-year-old male. I'm going in for a total knee replacement. My you sound good. Rec- you sound good. My doctor recommended I take a beta blocker called Okay, let's talk about that real quick. 
Let's, let's an awful drug. Awful, awful, awful. I'm not saying you don't need it because they're cutting into your body, but here's the deal, Jim. You sound good. Are you an athlete or were you an athlete? Yes. Okay, I could tell because you sound really good. So here's the deal. What did you do, by the way? Oh, I, uh, uh, you mean my knee? No, what's your athletic? What kind of athlete? Oh, uh, I swim, jog. Okay, I... good. Good. You sound great, okay? So here's the deal. I'm not going to tell you about the, to have the surgery or not, except I will tell you, and I'm not saying this is your doctor, but a lot of doctors have a financial incentive to go into the knee. Whether or not you need it or not, I can't tell you, and I'm, I'm not going to get into that. However, what you want to do is you want to start to use supplements so that when you get that knee back, when they do the knee replacement and you, you get out of the hospital, your body is primed to build and repair. Yes, they're going to replace the knee, but they're not replacing the connective tissue that connects it. So you've got to grow that. All right, so it's very, very important that number one, if you have any kind of digestive issues, you, you eliminate problem foods. Anything that promotes inflammation is going to slow healing. And at the age of 76, even though you sound great, you're going to have slower healing. So uh, you've got to eliminate problem foods and support digestive health. Get on the enzymes right away. Get on the ultimate enzymes uh, right away in terms of taking them with meals. It'll help you absorb your food, your, uh, your nutrients from foods, and, or help you digest your food, I should say. And then it also has anti-inflammatory healing benefits on its own, which means as soon as they cut, do the surgery, you're going to start to heal. So uh, you want to load up on the enzymes a couple weeks before surgery and then, a couple, and then continuing after surgery with meals and on an empty stomach. Likewise, vitamin K2. Anybody going into surgery would be smart to take vitamin K2 before and after. It will help speed up healing. Tell your doctor you're doing it because they like to know those things. But it's still a good idea whether your doctor likes it or not. Same with vitamin E. Same with vitamin A. And then bone soup. Drink bone soup like it's going out of style before and after surgery. And then make sure you're using your glucogel caps before and after surgery. And always do use your Beyond Tangy Tangerine with your glucogel caps. Always do those together. If you want one more thing, the Fucoid Z can help you, uh, especially for uh, helping keep the blood moving appropriately after surgery and improving healing. The beta blockers are just going to dumb everything down. Blocker means blocking. In the case of beta blockers, it blocks the nerves, that, uh, a class of nerves that feed the heart, which slows the heart down. I'm not sure if they're giving you the beta blockers for your blood pressure or what the reasoning is. That's typically what they'll, they'll do. When the heart is, is, is weak, they'll give you the... For some reason, they'll give you beta blockers, which shut down the heart. Jim, I wish I had more time, brother. Good luck with your surgery, and you sound great, so I, I think you're going to make a good recovery. Just do all those things we talked about. Check out the archives, and, and you can listen to, uh, you can review uh, the protocol. All right, that's all the time we have for today. Thank you so much for listening, friends. I'm Pharmacist Ben. Check out my websites, brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, and criticalhealthnews.com, and now truthtreatments.com. We'll talk to you all later. Bye for now. 